All right. Now, get into the nitty gritty. Real hail damage. What is real hail damage? Okay. So from photos, when you fi when you file a claim or when you file a claim, when you when you turn in a claim, a hail claim um, that you've handled for hail, uh, the file reviewer, the QA, your manager, the um, desk adjuster, six months from now, et cetera, et cetera, they can only go by your photos, right? And what you tell them that you found at the house. Um, they can't see softness, bruising in a photo. They can infer it, right, based on what we're going to talk about here, um, but they can't really, they're not going to be able to take their finger and poke on the, the picture and feel that you, what you felt at the house, right? So they're going to have to take your word for it. Um, but keep in mind that not all the time um, for file reviewers, um, sometimes they were previously in the field and they've seen this stuff before, or they've had a lot of experience looking at hail damage photos. And, you know, they've looked at a lot of hail damage photos from doozies of hail storms that had like just spectacular home run, no questions asked, hail damage to them, right? And so they've seen a lot of it. A lot of the managers, most of your managers, QA people, they're all going to have been field people and they're going to all know what a real hail hit looks like in person. So if you turn in pictures looking anything like the fake stuff that we're going to see after these, they're going to, you're going to get attention, right? They may start looking at your files a lot harder, right? Which you may or may not want, um, depending on what you're doing. This photo here is ridge cap, right? And this is a Z or like a high profile ridge cap. Um, Cause you can kind of see that there's a little bit extra layers here. It's maybe folded over on itself for a sort of a like, you know, extruded kind of higher profile look. Important thing that, that I want to point out here <clears throat> um, for fresh hail damage and with some exceptions, um, if it's visible, it's going to be this jet black, right? Even on an old roof, okay? Even on a really old roof, that's what that, that roof I showed you previously with all the shingles missing on one side. If there's a fresh hail impact, a bruise on um, a part of the roof like that, you know, that, that has some, some matting in it or some asphalt still that wasn't like totally exposed and dried out by the sun because the tabs are missing, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like a nice black bruise, okay? This is key visual cue for you, right? And when you walk up and touch this, you could almost see, you can almost see that this is going to be, you expect it to be soft when you touch it. And when I say soft, I mean like, like it's, soft, right? It yields underneath your finger. If you pulled the shingle up and pushed on it, you might push your finger all the way through, okay? You definitely should be able to see a dent or, or a bump on the bottom side of that shingle, right? You're not going to do this um, unless it's push comes to shove, but that's what you should, that, that's an indication that there is damage to the shingle. Adjuster TV is brought to you by ExactWear Training, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Supercharge your career and get certified right now as an Xactimate expert at the link in the description below. A, a real bruise, an impact coming from the sky, right? Which is what we're after. Pretty good um, hail damage here. One thing about this photo, kind of want to point out, it's random right? It's just scatter shot all over the place. There's not like a pattern to it, right? This is three big hailstones hit right next to each other, right? But the rest of them are totally random, just scattered around all over the place. This is great hail damage. This one, questionable, right? This might be old hail damage because I'm seeing some gray in there. I'm not seeing this like beautiful, dark, jet black stuff. Right, that's the tar, the actual asphalt in the shingle. Um, if there were no other dates of loss, if they had no priors, I'm probably paying for this one because there's. I think there's enough here. This down here looks a little bit uh, down in the lower right corner. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but um, that looks like some juicy blackness right there. But there may be some like old damage mixed in with it. If they don't have a prior claim, I don't care if there's old damage or not. If there's new damage, I'm paying for it. Um, if there's old damage and it kind of can be passed off as new, or I can't really tell totally, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, right? Here's a nice, lovely black hail impact. 
right? When you touch that, it's soft. It's it's you know the 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 plane, the surface of the shingle has an in, has an indention in it. The granules are loose in there. When you touch it, the granules feel loose. They they might it's kind of a few might fall out with your finger, um, but it feels very yields to, underneath your finger to the touch. This definitely old hail damage because you can see the white edges of the fiberglass. I might be calling my manager and saying, hey, listen, you know, they don't have any prior claims. I don't see any, like, I don't, you know, they, and often in orientation, they'll talk about like previous hailstorms. Um, there wasn't one within the past five years or 10 years or three years or whatever it is. And, you know, when I was talking to the homeowner, they said that they had like 15 other policies with the insurance company and, you know, whatever, right? And maybe make the case that this this one can slide through right and you you want to put your manager's name in there this is a like a presidential shingle i'm not a big fan of this shingle um because something you might notice here is that in the same roughly the same spot on all these shingles is where the hail hits are and i'm going to say these are real hail hits and the reason why that's happening is is because there's a air there's a gap like an air void behind that part of the shingle where it's not sitting flat on the shingles underneath it. And so it makes it really, 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 really easy to damage it. It's the same reason why you can see stuff like this on a ridge cap because there's nothing supporting the back side of that, whereas there is up here on the in the field in the main part of the, the rough slope. You might see no damage on this. You, you're doing your test squares. You walk up on this roof and you're like, damn, look at those hits. That was great. I'm totaling this sucker and then you do your test squares and you can't find anything. And the reason why is because this is, these shingles are a lot more susceptible to like, even like those snowball hail stones um, because there's nothing supporting the shingle to, to protect it from just tearing right through. This is from lights. This is, I found a lot of these pictures, these particular pictures, I found these on the internet. Uh, but a lot of them are for, from contractors. This one's a big question mark for me um, because I see that matting in there and it doesn't have like, to my, to my experience, I, I'm looking at this, I'm like, eh, I don't, I'd have to get up there and feel that one um, to touch it for sure to make sure if that, if that was really soft right there, then sure. And if there's a bunch of them and they were totally random, they weren't just in high traffic areas or, in, you know, where a tree was had you know, the moss or whatever it was, right, um, then I might be able to, to swing that. But I'm, I'm not going to feel real comfortable about turning a picture of that in my file because of that grayed out visible fiberglass matting right there, right? That's not what we want to see. That, that's an indication that this, whatever it is, it happened a while ago. Same thing with this. Now, this one kind of looks like, it looks like hail damage. It's black, right? And it's kind of random. But looking at this, knowing from all the roofs I've looked at, if I touch this, I'm guessing that the edges are going to be hard. There isn't going to be any softness with this. It's just some sort of like, I call it shingle character, right? It, I wouldn't say it's a defect. It's just kind of like, you know, it might have gotten like um, when they installed it, the installer set a tool down or they dropped their hammer right there or something. Who knows, right? It's hard to say what it is. But unless there's that softness there, it's key. Softness, loose granules, dark black, those three things. The main thing being that softness, right? Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it's not hail damage unless it's got those characteristics. And now that you've seen what actual hail damage looks like, get ready to be shocked by what some roofers will do to try and fool you into buying a roof by committing serious fraud. Watch right here.